there, it's me Grace, and today we're going to be working on dishcloth number two of the 12 cloths, dishcloths of Christmas. Um, these, of course, don't have to be dishcloths. They can be washcloths, or um, you can make them into pot holders or anything else that you'd rather do. Uh, if you're going to make them into a pot holder, I would recommend doing a second layer just of a plain color and attaching it to the back. Uh, you can just whip stitch around the sides or you can uh, single crochet them together or however you want to join them. Um, but this the double thickness would be excellent for a pot holder. Uh, if you're just going to do this for a cloth, you may or may not choose to add a border around the outside. That's completely up to you. On this particular cloth, I'm not going to add a border for sake of time and because I went into it in detail on the first cloth, if you want to view that, you can just forward to the end of the first video and you'll be able to watch that. Um, if not, there are many, many tutorials, I'm sure, on how to add beautiful borders to any project. As far as yarn goes, I would recommend the 100% cotton yarns put out by Lily Sugar and Cream. That's what I'm using. I'm using the colors white, yellow, warm brown, and this one's called Renegade. It's just a variegated green. You could use any green that you want. So I'm excited about this cloth, so let's get started. To begin this project, we're going to start with a slip knot and chain loosely but not sloppily 21. Now that we have our foundation chain completed, we're going to work a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook. So this is the first stitch from the hook, obviously. We're going to work into the second one, just a simple single crochet, and then one into each stitch across for a grand total of 20 single crochets. Now that we've completed row one, we need to start row two, which is going to be done a little differently, but not terribly differently. We need to get our brown ready because we're going to join on after the eighth single crochet. So we're going to work seven single crochets, chain one, and work a single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. In the eighth stitch, we're just going to pull up a loop, attach the brown, and complete that stitch with the brown. Now 
The next thing we're going to do is work three browns, just a single crochet, but we're working across the tails. So we're going to carry the white and work across the tail of the brown so we don't have as much to weave in later. So three complete single crochets of the brown. This is three. And then just pull up a loop in the fourth, drop the brown tail, and pick up your white and complete that stitch with the white. And now continue to the end, which is eight more single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of row two. We're going to work another row exactly like this one. So let's turn and chain one, or chain one and turn, it does not matter. And we're going to work the same way we did before. Seven complete single crochets of the white. And you know, for this field color, you don't have to use white. I just chose white because it's a bright color, it's like a snowy background for the tree, so it really doesn't matter what color you use. If you want it dark, you can make it dark, but for our purposes today we're using white because um, it's easier to see than a dark color, and also reminds me of snow. So on the eighth stitch, of course, we're just pulling up a loop. Pick up that brown that you dropped, okay. and Complete that stitch with the brown. Okay, now we're going to try to work across this brown tail again so there's less to weave in later. Let's go ahead and take three single crochets with the brown. Work across that white as well. We're carrying the white. It's better than having a million tails to weave in later. It will show up a little, but it won't be terrible. So let's drop the brown now and pick up the white. Complete that stitch with the white and then do one single crochet in each stitch to the end just with the white. We're not carrying any brown, just white. Okay, and if you ever lose your count, it's easy to find out how many you've made. We'll just count the little V's on top. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this eighth one is right underneath my hook, so I know that I have eight stitches. Okay? We are com finished with the brown at this point, so let's go ahead and clip a tail. Take a yarn needle and we'll go ahead and weave in the ends and I'll spare you the details on that because I'm sure that you know how to weave in. If you don't, it's very, very simple. Okay, and I will show you the next step after we have woven We've in the ends. We've completed this row, which is our third row. Now we're going to work on the fourth row. And this one, we're going to do it like we did with the brown stump of the tree, only it's, the numbers will be different. So you're going to need to get your green ready. We're going to chain one and turn, or turn and chain one. Work one single crochet of the white, and in the second one, just pull up a loop. This is where we're going to join on the green, whichever green you have. Complete that stitch with the green. And as we did with the brown, we're going to try to work across the tail and carry the white at the same time. Okay, so we're going to begin. We're going to make 16 green single crochets.
right on the 16th stitch where we're at right now, drop the green, pick up the white, and complete that stitch, and then do the next two stitches. Of course, this is the end of the cloth right here. Now we're ready to turn and repeat this row. After you repeat this row, I'll show you the next step. completed those two rows. And so now we're ready for the next one. For this next one, we're going to chain one and work three single crochets of the white. Oops. Of course in the third one you're just going to pull up a loop as before. Pick up your green and go ahead and complete that stitch with the green. Working across the white, we're going to carry it across. We're going to take 14 single crochets of the green. Okay, this is 13. On the 14th one, just pull up that loop. Remember to drop the green and pick up the white and complete that stitch. And then just complete the row to the end with the white. So this is three single crochets of the white. Okay, and so for the next row, we're going to work it exactly like this one. So I'll leave you to do that and then I will show you the next step. Okay, for this next row, as you probably guessed, we're going to chain one and take four single crochets of the white. So each time we're going one farther in. Okay, and on the fourth one, of course, you're going to pick up that loop, drop the white just for a second, and complete that stitch with the green. And now working across the white, we're going to take 12 single crochets of the green. This is 11, and on the 12th one, naturally, we're going to pull up a loop, drop that green, pick up the white, and then complete the single crochets to the end with white, which should be four single crochets. Two, three, and four. Good, and now we're going to repeat this row, and then I'll show you the next step. That's the end of this row. Let's start on the next one. We're going to take whoops, chain one and take five single crochets of the white. Two, three, four, and on the fifth one, of course, we're just going to pull up that loop and complete the stitch with the green. Okay, now working across the white, we're going to carry it, remember. So we're going to work ten single crochets of the green this time. My yarn's getting a little tangled. Hopefully you're doing a better job than I am keeping them untangled. If you need to, you can pause the video and just kind of straighten out your yarn. I'm going to have to do that in a minute. Okay, pull up that loop in the tenth stitch. Complete it with the white. And work five single crochets in the white to the end. Two, three, four, and whoops, five. We're going to repeat this row and then I'll show you the next step. We're ready for the next step so let's chain one and single crochet 
six of the white. So of course this is five single crochets. Five, and then the sixth one, of course we're just pulling up that loop. Find your green tail. Pull through and complete that stitch with the green and work across the white. Work eight single crochets of the green. Oops. Five. Six. Seven. And in the eighth one, we're going to pull up that loop, drop the green, pick up the white, and complete that stitch. Then work six single crochets of the white all the way to the end. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to repeat this row and I'll show you the next step. Okay, for the next two rows, let's chain one. We're going to work six single crochets of the white three oops four five six and then on the seventh one just pull up that loop as before we're going to complete it with the green so drop the white pick up the green and complete that stitch working across the white we're going to take six green single crochets. So three, four, five, and then on the sixth one, just pull up that loop and then complete the stitch with white and work seven single crochets in the white to the end. One, two, three, Four, five, six, oops, and seven. All right, let's repeat that row, and then we will do. We the have next five row. rows left to do. So on this next row, as you have probably guessed, we're gonna work eight single crochets of the white. So starting with the seven full single crochets, two, three, four, five, whoops, six, seven, and then in the eighth one, of course, this is where we pull up the loop. You're probably getting tired of hearing my me say that, but let's go ahead and complete that stitch with the green. And this time, working across the white, we're going to work three full single crochets of the green. And in the fourth one, we're going to pull up that loop and complete it with the white. And then we're going to work eight white single crochets till we get to the end of the cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I'm going too fast for you, if you're an absolute beginner, trying to get this project done and I'm going too fast, you can simply slow down the video in the settings underneath the video. You'll be able to do that. Or you can just rewind it and keep playing it over until you catch up. I do apologize for going fast. The first video that I made was very, very long and even trying to speed up parts of it and cut out unnecessary parts, it left it with a very long video. So I was trying to make this a little more condensed and a little uh, quicker and easier to achieve. So of course we're going to repeat this row 
and then I will show you the final row of the tree and then we'll finish off with a, um, one row of simply the white in single crochet. Okay, we're ready for the final row of the tree. So we're going to chain one and we're going to work nine single crochets with the white. Of course the first eight are complete and then the ninth one we're going to pull up a loop. So chain one and begin working those eight single crochets. Sorry for my creaky chair. Alright, and in the ninth one, of course, we're going to pull up a loop, complete that stitch with the green. Now, in this one, we're only going to work two single crochets of the green. Remember to carry that white. So in the second one, we're pulling up a loop, complete that with the white, and then work the rest of the stitches across, which should be nine single crochets with the white. And like I said before, if you lose your count, you're not sure how many stitches you took, you can count the little V's on the top. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I know that I got my 9 stitches. Alright, we're going to repeat this row and then we will. I'll come back and we'll work together one row of solid white across the top. We're, we're finished with the green now, so let's clip a tail and just drop that for a minute. We can weave the tails in later. So we're going to complete the cloth, the body of the cloth anyway, by working one single crochet in each stitch across. So you should have a total of 20 single crochets. Now that we've come to the end of the cloth, you can end off either by clipping the tail and pulling it through, or by chaining one first and then clipping the tail and pulling it through. My preferred method is just to clip the tail and pull it through. Alright, we're going to take a few minutes and weave in the ends, and then I will show you how to make the star for the top. Now that we've completed the cloth, it's time to make the star for the top. So. This is a star pattern that I came up with. You can choose any star pattern. You don't have to use mine. Um, I like it because it's very simple and it only takes a minute to make it up. So now you're going to need whatever color you have for your star. Of course I'm using yellow. I'm going to switch to my G hook. And at this point, excuse my squeaky chair, I am starting with a magic loop. I'm going to chain one and just secure that. And I'm going to work 10 single crochets into this ring. Seven, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go ahead and pull that tail, close up that hole. Let's make the circle complete by slip stitching into that first single crochet that we made. There we go. Now, the next step is to work a half double crochet into the very first stitch. And so what I'm going to do is chain one first. And I'm going to work a half double crochet into this very first stitch right here. This one right here. Now we're going to work a treble crochet or triple crochet. And of course these are US terms. So this is triple crochet. And then another half double crochet into the same stitch. We're working all these three into the same stitch. Okay. In the following stitch, we're going to just simply work a slip stitch. Okay, in the next stitch we're going to repeat what we did in the first, which is making a half double crochet, triple crochet into the same stitch, half double crochet into the same stitch. Okay. Slip stitch in the next stitch. And we're just repeating this around until we have five points to the star. So half double crochet, triple crochet, And then another half double crochet into the same stitch, followed by a slip stitch in the next stitch, half double, triple crochet, two, whoops, and half double crochet into the same stitch. Slip stitch in the next one. Okay, this is the final point of the star. Half double crochet, triple crochet, half double crochet, slip stitch in the final stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that we made. Just like that. Okay? Now, let's clip the tail. And in this tail, we're going to leave plenty. So, that might be too much, but we're going to leave it anyway. Alright, pull that through. Now, you'll notice that it's loose here. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is thread up this yarn needle. I'm using this blunt tapestry needle because it's a smaller project, a tighter weave, and so my large yarn needle is not going to go through the stitches the way I need it to. So I'm going to use this smaller tapestry needle. What I'm going to do is go ahead and secure that stitch just by working it into the stitch before it and then go back through where it came from okay and if you want to you can just weave it in a little right behind there okay and the other thing that you can do is go ahead and weave in this one or you can leave it and use it later. 
but I'm going to go ahead and weave it in and just leave the one long tail. Okay, the next thing we have to do is position the star onto the cloth. So I'm going to put mine right at the top. Okay, I'm going to carry this through to the back. So I'm just going to go in between the stitches, but where it will be hidden behind the star. And if your star is a little lopsided, just work with it a little bit. You can pull it out into the right shape. And once you stitch it down to the cloth, it should stay that way. Okay, so let's come up from the back of the cloth through the star. And we're simply going to stitch around the outside edges of the star. just tacking it onto the cloth. It's just a simple in and out running stitch. And if you wanted to, instead of running the stitches in and out around the edges, you could put them in and then back around this way so that you're coming in and then back around and tacking it down that way. That's completely up to you. Once you have gotten around to where you began, it's time to turn over the cloth and weave in the ends. So you're just going to do your weaving in as usual, sufficiently woven in, you're just going to clip that. And then you're done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you had a lot of fun making this cloth. It was a lot of fun for me to come up with this. And it's really not that involved and complicated. I like the simplicity of this cloth. And I hope that you do too. I had fun coming up with the design. And I had fun coming up with the star pattern. And I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.